Well, I'm back from Lure of the North and I brought this home with me. I'm super excited. It's a moccasin making kit. Do you know where we yeah. put it? I'm yeah, right. Right. Here you go, my dear. Thank you. Oh, that's it. And um, I want to make my own moccasins. I'm going to make my own moccasins. And uh, I got to pick out the different kinds of hides, um, the laces, uh, the ribbon, and try them on, like try on the little booties and everything that comes with booties and socks. The whole kit is all together and um, I'm going to make these and I'm going to do a video, a um, step-by-step of what I'm doing. I'm going to follow all the instructions that Laura has online and in the booklet that they gave me and uh, hopefully they turn out great. All right, so I have emptied all the contents of my moccasin making kit out on the table and um, I've got everything I'm supposed to have. I've got the patterns, um, so I can get started. The first thing I'm supposed to do is make a thimble, so I'm gonna do that. And uh, the next thing is to measure my foot. So um, from left to right there, we have the soles, uh, the two pairs of socks. Above those are the patterns. Um, there's a measure sizing chart. Um, below that, there is the lowers. Uh, there's the laces, um, there's the booties down below that, and then um, my custom-made buttons. They're sliced from an antler. They're so cool. Um, and then uh, I've got the thread and some patches, the needles, and um, then the uppers with uh, the ribbon. So I'm super excited to get started. I hope these turn out. So I've got my patterns cut out now and I just want to make sure that the there's adequate length. We know that there's adequate width because that's what we measured. But what I'm going to do is place my boot liner on the pattern at the very top and make sure that there's at least three inches at the back. Okay, well I cut out a second pattern piece from the extra paper that I had. Um, so I would have two of each. And I traced them with the pen, and they're all outlined now. So I can take the paper off, and I'm gonna cut them. Okay, I want to cut the pieces out. So now I'm gonna um, put the little stitches to make them together. This is actually the outside. I just flipped it over so I could see, uh, make sure that there weren't any imperfections. Um, Kai said to check it over a few times and these were uh, the best pieces of the hide that I could find. Alright, so I just watched uh, Kai's basic sewing video and um, I made my little thimble. Uh, I screwed up a couple of times in the beginning here, but I can see what I did wrong and um, I know how to avoid doing it. So. I think it's also a good practice to to make the thimble so then you don't mess up your moccasins. <laughs> Anyways, it fits real good, so I think I'm ready to start uh, sewing my pieces together. Well, there's my first toe pucker thingy, and uh, it doesn't look too bad. I mean, it's not perfect, but uh, apparently it doesn't have to be, and uh, I think it looks pretty good. I'm quite proud of myself. So um, I'm going to do the other one now. Okay, well, I stayed up uh, till 12 last night working on this. Um, I think it only took me about an hour and a half to do all of these things, cut out the pieces, the patterns. Um, I think I started around 10 last night, um, so maybe two hours. And um, I did all the puckering in the front. doesn't look too bad. Uh, it was really, really tight, though. Um, and back here... Uh, in the video, Kai shows that there's uh, supposed to be some leftover. Um, this actually almost didn't meet. So uh, what I did was I wet this, the uh, suede side a little bit. Um, I saw them stretching some of the uh, hides and furs yesterday. When I was at uh, Lure headquarters, so I thought that should work. So I wet it a little bit and pulled it and stretched it and uh, left it on the um, booty last night. So this morning, 
Um, now I have a little bit uh, of give here. I didn't have that yesterday. It was very, very tight. So um, I think I might just uh, trim a tiny bit off of the end there and um, then I can cut uh, for the little heel thing that they have on the video. Get a tick. Open that up. And I'm going to measure on either side three quarters of an inch. And I'm going to go three quarters of an inch up. So I've sewed the back together. Now I gotta push it through so that it's uh, flat. So I'm gonna do that. Uh, can't do it with the phone in my hand. She said it was gonna be difficult if the stitches are tight, and they are very tight. So I'm gonna work on that. All right. So I flattened it out. It actually wasn't too difficult. Um, I think my fingernails helped quite a bit. <laughs> So now I've got to put this part up and over the heel, they call it. So I'm going to do that next. All right, they fit pretty nice. I'm super excited because I had a little bit of an issue, like I said, with the, um, the back not being uh, enough material there, but I stretched it a tiny bit and now I just have to do the heel. This is so cool. Just awesome. Like, so awesome. All right, I have successfully completed my first of two moccasins um, lowers. I just did the heel crescent. Um, didn't turn out as perfect as I wanted it to, but it looks pretty good. And uh, I'm excited. I'm going to do the second one now and then make my way on to the uppers. All right, I have finished the puckering and the whole front part of the second lower um, came out really nice and uh, I'm really happy with it. Um, I fitted the um, moccasin on uh, with the boot and then folded it over as Kai says in the video and then made a mark where that meets. So that's right here. I actually have two of them, but it's kind of in the middle. Um, so now I'm gonna measure out the back and finish the heel. Yay! All right, well, I believe I have uh, what I can say safely, successfully completed my two lowers, and uh, now I'm gonna move on to the uppers. I have no idea how to do those, so I'm gonna watch the videos and then proceed. All right, well, I've got both of the lowers on, on the booties, and uh, I look pretty good. I just have to put the loops on the back and then I can start on the uppers. Okay, I have put the little, um, I don't know what they're called, they're for the ties to put them on the back of the moccasin. So uh, I just finished that and now I'm on to the uppers. <laughs> okay, so I've got my uppers cut out. Um, I had uh, to be a little bit creative because I didn't, I had some. Um, bad sections on my material that I had to cut around. So um, I've got them all ready now and I'm going to put the ribbon on the bottom. Okay, I've cut my ribbon um, and I put it on the bottom. There's just a little bit left on each side so that I can fold it under as Kai suggests in her video. And uh, I'm gonna take them downstairs and sew them with the machine. My moccasins um, are basically done, uh, except that I need to do the rubber soles. Um, 
and uh, I haven't done that yet and I need to get these done because I want to wear them tomorrow when I go camping so um, I just watched the video from Laura about how to do this and uh, my heel my heel uh, crescent is actually on the bottom of the boot and not where it's supposed to be so okay um, so the first thing I'm supposed to do is rough up the bottoms um, because I didn't use the suede part especially uh, it's not good um, for adhering to uh, the glue so I'm supposed to use a wire brush <laughs> And um, I thought, well, I don't really have a wire brush. What am I going to do? Um, but then I remembered I have a barbecue brush. Uh, this is actually like some kind of a magic barbecue brush that uh, you're supposed to, I don't know, you put steaming water in it and something. Um, but anyways, it'll do. It's a wire brush. It's got wire on it, and it seems to be doing what it's supposed to. So, um, so basically what Kai explains in the video is that I'm supposed to just take the shine off the bottom of the boots. Um, I've got the boots standing up here. She had them on uh, chair legs, upside down table leg or something. Um, I just have those big bottles of Frute and uh, I just put them in the liners so they're nice and sturdy. And um, now I'm just got them standing up. So I don't know if you can see this, it's kind of dark in my place. I've got a light on, but um, see how the one on the right doesn't have any shine to it? Uh, and the one on the left does. So um, I haven't done the one on the left, and I just did that little tiny bit to this one. I obviously don't want to wear the, the uh, skin too much, but I just want to make sure that um, the rubber cement or contact cement, whatever it is that came in that kit, uh, sticks to the bottom of the boot. Okay, so I roughed up the bottom pretty good. Um, there's not really any shine left on it, and um, it's uh, a little bit more abrasive now so that um, the bond will stick. Um, the box that you get in the kit comes with the paintbrush, uh, a 500 milliliter uh, can of Rapid Bond, which is the adhesive, and then um, there's 70 grams of rubber. Okay, so um, the video says that um, first you need to put a coat of just the adhesive on and let it sit for a bit until it becomes tacky. So I'm going to do that. I'm just wearing rubber gloves. I'm a mess when it comes to glue, paint, anything like that. I'm terrible with it. Um, so I've got uh, cardboard and paper all over the place and um, just to make sure I don't spill any. So I'm um, just going to wipe it on the bottom just like Kai did in her video. So just to go around the edge as well. I thought I did a really nice job on the heel crescents, but now that I'm seeing them up here on the little stand, I can see that I didn't really do that great of a job, but oh well, I did my best. And I'm not really good at hand sewing. I'm a more of a machine sewer, and I'm not even really that great at that either. So, <laughs> um, but still, I made moccasins, so I'm happy. All right. Well, it's been over a half an hour. Um, the instructions on the paper actually do say to wait a half an hour, um, about a half an hour, and um, it's supposed to be tacky and sticky, but not wet, and it is. So, um, Kai suggests using a metal can to mix the uh, solution up. So, um, I've got a metal can, and uh, basically, you're supposed to take some of this and put it in here. Hope I don't spill it. I'm terrible with this stuff. Okay, so I put like about a third of the can in. I don't know, I'm just going to mix up a bunch of stuff. Um, maybe that's too much actually. Six and out. <laughs> Can always make more. Okay, and then here is the rubber. Um, 
I think she said they get it from a, a tire company or a garage that uh, they, they shave down the tires for some reason and they have these pieces. Uh, I just got a paint stir stick that I had in the basement. Um, hopefully the paint doesn't go in it. I don't think it should. I'll just mix it up. I watched the video, so, oh, I guess you can't see what I'm doing, sorry. It's supposed to be black. It looks kind of greenish. <laughs> Put a little bit more of this in there. Now it looks black. And for all of these instructions, just um, look up Lure of the North and um, they have videos on every single step that I've done to make these moccasins. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to make them. I think that's kind of how she had them in her video. So, um, just wipe some off there. I hope I uh, scratch them up enough so everything sticks nice. Okay. Grab the brush. It's a little bit hard already, but hopefully it softens up in there. I think I have another one downstairs if I need one, but. Okay, so I'm just gonna apply it like that. Just put a thin coating over the bottom. It's not a very difficult, I was really worried about this process. I was like, oh, this is gonna be so hard. How am I gonna do this? But I watched the video and it's so easy. Now I won't be sliding all over the place. My friend Shirley was wearing her moccasins on our trip uh, to Go Home Lake a, a few weeks ago and um, she was sliding everywhere. I'm not sure where she got them. Um, I don't think she made them with lure and um, she didn't have any of this on the bottom so I guess that would be an easy fix for her. All right, um, the instruction sheet says to put on some gloves, whoops, <laughs> um, and then just push the stuff down and it should be tacky, that's okay. It's not quite dry yet, but just said to push the stuff down and then I could put, there's the timer to say it was 20 minutes. So just, just push the stuff down so there's nothing sticking up. And then um, as you can see, you can still see quite a bit of the bottom of the boot. So I'm gonna put a second coat on. I was afraid of. Oh my god, oh my god, emergency. <laughs> I care about my hands. Get it off my moccasin. I think that's actually the part that gets covered over with the other flap, but. Oh man, that sucks. I hope I didn't get it on anything else. I didn't even look. Could have just plopped down there and. Okay. Whew, better put my gloves back on. Be careful. Be careful. All right. So at the end of the video. <laughs> I noticed that Kai says, you want them to dry for 24 hours. <laughs> I'm like, no, I don't. I want to wear them in like 10 hours <laughs> on my way to Algonquin. Uh, so I have a space heater. I put it up next to the uh, soles of the boots. Hopefully that will uh, quick dry them. Um, I'll bring, obviously I'll bring some other boots just in case, but uh, hopefully they'll be dry enough to wear tomorrow. Um, at least by the afternoon, so fingers crossed. All right, so here are my buttons for my moccasins. Um, they're deer antler uh, slices. <laughs> um, Kai actually made them for me just before I left. So I have to say for the record, we make all our buttons like this. We have a bandsaw, <laughs> uh -huh. so when we need to make lots, we've got that, but for special cases like Christina wants that button and not from our stock <laughs> <with the hacksaw. laughs> so, I 
Take it to special buddy. You're not supposed to breathe this stuff in very much, so one button is not going to hurt you, but if you're doing this a lot, and you should be wearing a respirator. You might want to get a little piece of sandpaper and just sand off a little bit of the edges. Okay. There you go. Yay! Got buttons. Okay. I really wanted to get at least one of the buttons on before I left today, so I got up early this morning to put it on. <clears throat> I'm going to do the big chunky one, and uh, hopefully it, it looks good. Okay, so I've tried on the moccasin and um, I put a chalk mark on the outside and the inside of where the button should go and where the hole should go. Okay, so I've cut four patches um, of equal size. Two will be for the other boot. Um, I'm probably just going to do the one this morning because I don't have a ton of time um, for the buttons. So uh, that's from the material that I used for the lower and uh, it's ready to sew on. Okay, so there's the uh, patch for the top one. That's where the buttonhole is gonna be. And then the button's gonna come through there and sit like that. So now I just have to put another patch like this underneath where the button's gonna go. Um, I think I'm gonna make it smaller, just half the size, because um, it doesn't need to be so big underneath and um, it'll be a little bit less sewing. Okay, so I've just finished the button patch and uh, now I can sew on the button. Oh, my beautiful button is on now. I love it. Um, so now I just have to do the slit and sew that up real quick. Um, I'm running out of time. I gotta leave in less than an hour, so um, hopefully I get this done quickly and it'll still look real nice. Well, it's a pretty big button. Uh, I cut a good size slit for it um, and it fits. So I'm just going to do the um, stitch around the hole and then I should be good to go. Well, I'm not quite sure where this stitch came from. It's definitely not the one I was supposed to use as per the video, but uh, I'm in a bit of a hurry and um, I just wanted to close it up. Uh, for now, I'm only going to you know, use the buttonhole a couple of times this weekend and then uh, I can fix it properly if I need to, if it's not working, but um, it's not a part that's going to be seen, so um, hopefully it just does its job. Alright, so the button is on and there's the buttonhole. Um, so it just closes up. Just put a tiny bit of fray stop in here um, just to kind of stick all the material together and just the button there we go and that's about as done as they're going to be for now i am heading out to algonquin park for new year's eve so um i gotta get going